Hi there. Uh, as far as the markets are concerned, they're fairly choppy. We're off the highs of the day and we're off the lows of the day as well. The Nifty finding its feet around the 10,800 uh, mark. Now again, hovering near the flat line for both the Nifty as well as the Sensex. We're getting numbers thick and fast. Just a few minutes ago, we had Ultratech look like a mix set. We're also getting in numbers from VST Industries. Revenue high by 22%, net profit high by 11.5%. Looks like there may be a bit of a margin compression. But the one stock on our radar right now is Jyoti Laboratories. Lower in trade today after the company posted a muted revenue growth this quarter. The profits, they were higher on account of lower tax rate, lower finance costs, also higher other income. So what went down this uh, this quarter? We have Ullas Kamath, the Joint Managing Director of the company, joining us on the show. Thanks a lot, Mr. Kamath, for joining in. First up, if you could tell us what exactly took place this quarter, because uh, this, this quarter didn't even have the Kerala floods and there was the festive season. Despite that, we saw uh, muted revenue growth. Uh, yeah, um, uh, the seven percent growth what we what we have got in the last quarter probably could have been better by a couple of percentage point. And uh, what you have, what you have said about Kerala is that uh, while. Uh, the floods are behind us. Uh, the lag effect is still there. In October onwards, uh, we started doing well, but not as much as we wanted it to be. So overall, there are only two reasons uh, for a muted uh, top line growth. Uh, one is uh, Kerala, which is uh, now back to normal completely uh, by the month of November, December. And other one is the uh, acute winter, which we, all of us were witnessing. And to that extent, our personal care Margo, uh, you know, like did not take off as much as we wanted it. But otherwise, by and large, all the sectors have done well. All the categories, uh, we have grown uh, more or less uh, 8 percent 10%, 12% uh, respectively, especially in fabric care and uh, dishwash, we have grown uh, in double digit. So uh, overall, uh, it looks okay, but you could have done a little better uh, barring Kerala. Uh, hopefully, we should be able to make up before March. All right, dishwashing, uh, we saw a sharp decline in the margins of the company from around 15.2% to 12.9%. Uh, any particular reason for that uh, high competitive pricing or something of that sort? Yeah, one of, one of the things is that in like some of the consumer offers we ran in the last quarter and we got uh, almost 10% uh, uh, top line growth there and the market share also we improved a lot. So it was a strategic decision taken uh, to uh, spend more and uh, get a higher market share which has worked for us. And uh, to that extent, it's only for this quarter. Uh, overall, uh, there's no worries on that. Uh, still, uh, for the whole year, we are growing at 15.9% for the last nine months. It's 15.9%, uh, so we are happy about it. It is Our just that investment we have made, a little more on the consumer offers the last quarter. Right, hang in there, uh, Mr. Kamath. We are getting numbers thick and fast. Colgate has reported its uh, results. So one, net profit is coming at 192 crores. This compares with our poll of 180 crores. So that's a beat out there. Even if you take a look at the revenue, revenue is pretty much in line with the expectations. Revenue is coming at closer to the 1100 crore mark. That is where uh, uh, our poll pegged that number at. So we're trying to get in some more details. As of now, for Colgate, I'm trying to get uh, the volume growth up. Uh, the volume for uh, uh, the volume expectations, as far as this quarter are concerned, was close to around. 5 to 6 percent and uh, uh, the company has posted a volume growth. I, I'd like the ticker team to pull that up for a moment but as of now it looks like a bottom line beat and the top line was pretty much in line so we'll probably try and get in uh, the management, uh, we'll try and get in uh, the margins as well. Volume growth, okay there we have it, 7 percent. That's higher than what the street was pegging. Uh, 5 and six, five to 6 percent was what the range was. Remember Colgate has rallied about 20, 25 percent from October lows. Also trying to get in the market share details. Um, uh, the volume growth is above expectations, net profit above expectations. Uh, looks like perhaps there could have been a lower inc incidence of lower, lower price toothpaste doing fairly well, which is why the revenues are pretty much in line despite an outperformance on the volumes. We'll try and get in the volume growth, but meanwhile, we'll also get in a quick question from uh, Mr. Kamat. Mr. Kamat, what was the volume growth uh, for Jyoti Laboratories this quarter? And at the same time, uh, what do you project for in FY20 now, given that things seem to be back to Norman? Uh, for the quarter, uh, the volume growth has been 6.1 percent, value has been 6.3 and uh, for the year ending 31st March 2019, uh, we are hopeful of going for 12 percent top line growth. As of now, we are at uh, uh, 11, so we'll be able to make it for 12 percent for the uh, 31st March 2019. The next year, we should be around 12 to 14 percent and EBITDA margin we are maintaining at 16.5 percent and the profit after tax has grown by about 30 percent. So all other parameters, all the numbers are uh, as per our guidance, uh, only the top line growth is of 12 to 14, we should be able to do it 12 for the year March 2019. Uh, before we let you go, Mr. Kamath, if you could tell us exactly uh, what was the growth that you saw in uh, the uh, the components of your fabric care business, be it crisp, crisp and shine as well as uh, Ujala? 
Uh, Ujala has been uh, flat, but uh, Henko has grown by 17.5% and, percent and uh, Christmas and Shine has grown by about 8%. So overall, we are happy about Christmas and Shine and also especially Henko with this uh, kind of competition what we are in the marketplace, we are able to uh, attain 17.5% uh, growth there. So looking good. And dishwash, as I told you, that uh, for the nine months we are at 15.9%. Uh, and uh, household insecticides has taken off very well in the last quarter. Uh, so category is growing at about 8%, but we have grown about 11%. Garner a little bit market share from the competition. So household insecticides also looks very good. And hopefully the next quarter, which is the biggest quarter for household insecticides, we should be able to get our numbers in place. All right, fair point. Thanks a lot for joining in. Meanwhile, we're getting in numbers again. Uh, we'll refer to the Colgate numbers once again. Looks like there has been a bit of a margin expansion. EBITDA is coming at 307 crores. This compares with our poll of about 301 crores. EBITDA margins there, uh, there uh, like, uh, uh, you know, the EBITDA growth indicated. The margins are at 28.1%. Toothpaste volume growth above expectations. However, the company this time around looks like hasn't given the market share. That would have been an important monetable but uh, let's see what happens as far as Colgate's market share is concerned. Looks like the reported numbers pretty much in line to slightly better than expectations. The stock at the high point of the day. With that, we slip into a short break and uh, uh, come back uh, on the other side with some uh, market. All right. OK, OK. Before we slip into a short break, we have some visuals coming in from Piyush Goel, uh, Interim Finance Minister. He's at the North Block. Remember, Piyush Goel has been given the temporary charge of the Finance and Corporate Affairs Ministries. He's filling in for Union Minister Arun Chetli, who is away in the U.S. for medical treatment.